Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up everybody? Eva Vera 94, we know the action figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive. This, this is the Silver Surfer figure from Hasbro. I gotta tilt it to the side here because of the glare that you're going to see off the plastic so, so you guys don't get blinded by the light. Anyways, there is the figure, got the surfboard on the back there, we got some effects that we've seen before, extra hands, so pretty good deal here. Here's the side of the package, you got a good uh, artwork going on there on the side, and then the back does show um, nothing else except the figure. Got a little read-up that says, a metallic skin humanoid from the planet Zenla. The Silver Surfer gets his name from his shimmering appearance and iconic hovering surfboard. Alright, that's it. Let's get right into it. out the box and the first thing that sticks out to me is the paint this is a very nice metallic look I can see this being on an Iron Man Mark II or any type of Iron Man you know for that matter anyways he's sporting this body that we've seen before this is the same body that Deadpool from the uh, most recent Sasquatch wave has uh, used here so we got this body mold here with a new head sculpt we do have some accessories so let's get into that right now he does come with two straight hands like this and then we do also get two open hands this is one of them the other one's on the actual figure right here and then of course we do get two fists just like the figure has one and then most importantly the surfboard we got the surfboard here it does include one peg right there towards the back and this is what it looks like underneath the surfboard so really nothing special there Overall, it's a pretty good length on the surfboard, I'd say. You can see he's about uh, a 6-inch figure, of course, and then we got the surfboard standing at about uh, 9 inches here, I'd say, off the top of my head. I almost forgot to mention these. He does come with these uh, Doctor Strange effects. We've seen these a 100 times. This one is yellow with, uh, they added some glitter inside of it. I don't know if you look closely. There is some glitter inside of the plastic, so eh, I guess that's cool. As for the figure itself... Here's a good look at that body mode, and the paint overall is nice. I don't see anything too bad, nothing sloppy. I felt like this was going to be maybe uh, one of those figures that has a lot of quality control issues. At least this specific figure is okay. I don't see any paint rubbing yet. I'm fearing that this will be one of the figures that does chip paint, but I'm not sure. Even the knee joints seem to be pretty consistent there with that paint. I don't see anything rubbing off. Overall, I think they did very well. So I'm not sure if they really solved a the problem of the paint chipping. I'm sure they'll still see something. Actually, if you look a little close right here at the shoulder, there is a little bit of a rub. But of course, that is because of the plastic rubbing against each other when you move the figure. So that's, I guess, to be expected. And there is the face sculpt. You guys let me know what you guys think about this face sculpt. I'm, I don't know, I got mixed feelings about it. I don't think it's amazing, but I don't think it's, you know horrible either i don't know i feel like people are either gonna love it or hate the face sculpt but you guys let me know uh, if you have any thoughts about these this head sculpt here and there is the back so anyways he does come with a head swivel ball jointed head goes up and down yeah the arms do go forward and back the shoulder has a butterfly joint here that goes in and out pretty good movement there we've seen that before so that's nice uh the arm does go in and out there is a bicep swivel double jointed elbows swivel at the wrist with a hinge we do have an ab crunch, clicks, waist swivel, T-jointed legs go forward and back. They go in and out about this much. There is a thigh swivel, double jointed knees, shin swivel, ankles hinge forward and back, and we do have a ankle pivot. I do see this. Uh, now that I was speaking about the quality, uh, I don't, I, yeah, you can pick it up. You can see it there. It's not chipping, but it's just like, it's almost as if there was dust on the figure when they got painted over and they got trapped in the paint i don't know how to explain that but i hope that makes sense because you see these little little specks of just i don't know what it is but it's underneath the paint it's kind of all over the growing area here so there he is next to some other figures here we got deadpool sharing the same body mold and we have the bucky cat mold of daredevil and you can see they're pretty much all the same height here i don't see very you know much of a difference here Next to a bigger figure, let's get the most recent cable. And you can see he towers over them both. But those of you that were interested in him next to the same body mold, you can really see nothing's really different. I don't see that they change anything at all. 
uh, for the sculpt. I guess the hands are different, which I'm sure the hands come off of other figures as well. So it almost looks like it's chrome painted through this camera right now, the way I'm looking at it. But I guess the light shining on it. But anyways, uh, here's a, my rough attempt of getting him on the surfboard here. I have him on a flight stand. And uh, so you just got to play with it and see how you guys can display him with a flight stand. Because he doesn't have a peg hole on his back. And um, there's, I don't know, it's, it's going to be really difficult to get a flight stand to hold the surfboard. So you're going to have to get it to hold the figure itself. And then if you have him holding the figure, then the surfboard kind of hangs here because there's no peg on this foot. Which it has its pros and cons because if it had a peg on both feet, then, you know, it would be planted here like this. But if you had the peg there, then you don't have the option of putting the foot wherever you want it on this side. And I also do wish, now that I got it on the board, I do wish he had a toe pivot. I know it's something that, um, a toe hinge, I guess you can say. Toe hinge is something that Hasbro really doesn't do for their figures. I honestly, I don't think they even do that. No, they don't. That's, I'm thinking about imports, but... That, that would have been something cool to put on this legend at least. But they just don't like toe pivots I guess. But I don't know. Uh, you just got to play with them. I'm sure a lot of people are going to get this guy displayed very nicely. This is nothing. so. But I just I got to keep playing with it here. Alright guys there you guys have it. That is my review for the 6 inch Marvel Legends Hasbro Walgins exclusive. This is the Silver Surfer. I feel like I like it. I do like it. You know it's a pretty nice figure. We haven't gotten a Silver Surfer in quite a long time. And I really do like the paint on him. I think the paint is one of the best uh, parts of this figure. And he is also very, very well articulated for what he's supposed to be, the Silver Surfer. Uh, to get him on the surfboard um, posed up, like I said, people are going to do a much better job at posing than this here. Um, and But it's possible because they do give him a shin swivel. They do give him these butterfly joints on shoulders that are needed. And um, biceps. So everything like that is needed for this guy and the ab crunch as well. Um, but the shin swivel is important. I wish they did have toe hinges and I wish they had uh, ankle swivel on this guy. Uh, I know they included the ankle swivel with a uh, Gwenpool and some other figures. Uh, they pick and choose on those for some reason. Uh, it just has the hinge forward and back and has the pivot and that's it. Um, but you know, overall they did a good a job with the choice of body mold for this guy. Let me know if you're convinced on getting him or if you don't like him at all based on this review. Uh, I hope I helped you guys out in making your decision once this guy does drop in Walgreens uh, nationwide. So anyways, that concludes my review. So be sure to drop a like for me down below. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share the video. And as always, guys, have a great day. Bye.